Live from the edge of Austin's airspace, where Justin constantly hangs up on a rapidly approaching Andrew Eaton, it's going to be a great night. Now, place your seat in an upright position, stow all items, and damn it, do not get up until the light changes. Here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. We're beautiful boys. We're beautiful boys. And we're pretty boys. My name is Doug, and I'm a pretty boy. When I look in the mirror, I say, wow, that's beautiful. My name is Larry, not Barry. I like to carry all my bags. I don't check luggage in. Beautiful boys. We're beautiful boys. Rapping and jerk. What? <laughs> Rapping and jerking? Oh. Rapping and jerking at the same time? <laughs> If you ever laugh. Why would you rap and jerk at the same time? <laughs> you ever laugh? That's Why? that's <laughs> You think if you did it, you go wicky 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 like no, it's like like you're midway, you're about to come and you're like <laughs> I'm so beautiful. Oh, I thought if you ever if you have you ever been about to come and you start freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that definitely mm, I think we talked about uh, it's similar situations in the previous day. Hey, Justin, how are you? <laughs> Did we? Yeah, well, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we've talked about um, uh, times that uh, I, I, I can't remember what was on air and what was <laughs> on so air. You, are you, so you are, you think you, we've talked about this on a previous incarnation. That previous incarnation could have been a private conversation we were having. I, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. Uh, well, uh, let's go. Here, we're on the record now. No, like, with, like Bob Costas. Like, I, I made Bonnie laugh during Coitus once. Uh, we've, oh. we've talked about various incarnations. Yeah. <laughs> I I used say, to... The more I say incarnations, the more naughty it sounds. This oh, is his safe God. word. His safe word is incarnations, <laughs> Justin. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> have, you oh, had, have you had premarital incarnations with my daughter? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, that was a bit more of a cardio workout than I was prepared for. The beautiful for. boys. <laughs> the beautiful boys dance. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, man, this is this is gonna would, be. Would you a great sign up show. for that? Like, uh, in, in, in if you had to choose between CrossFit and <laughs> nothing but beautiful boy freestyling jumping, I a hundred percent. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you just literally described his hit workout. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah. No. If, if I were, if I were able to do that, if I were able to do a, a high intensity workout, but it was while I was <laughs> rapping to the beautiful boys. <laughs> Thing. I feel like this is an Ali Spagnola fit video uh, uh, waiting to happen. Uh, 100%. Uh, how you feeling, man? Spin class or beautiful boys? <laughs> it's like, which one can I do while I'm drunk? <laughs> uh, well, all three of us are here. We got Justin Robert Young. We got yeah. me, Brian Brushwood. Yeah. We have Andrew. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Mm. Andrew mm. Heaton, not with us. He's dead. No, yeah. don't even say that no, while he's he on the died. road. I swear, he I died. swear. No. Nope. Unfortunately, look, it was a very unfortunate crossbow accident. <laughs> uh, it shot the wrong way. He shouldn't have crossed that bow. He, well, should, hey, yeah. he, he thought he was doing just, crossfit. Yeah. It turns, turns out he put himself in a crossbow. Turns out Bo knows how to murder Andrew Heaton. <laughs> he made the mistake of telling a whore where to go. You don't remember that moment from from Bo show? Jackson's life? No, from uh, uh, think about it. Think about a show that we liked a lot, where there's a significant moment with the crossbow. Uh, crossbow. And it's Game of Thrones, and oh. it's when oh. Tyrion Lannister kills his father, Tywin Lannister, uh, yeah. because he was having sex with the woman that Tyrion Lannister was dating. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, spoilers for season four sure. of Game of Thrones. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, I was still thinking about Bo Jackson. I was thinking about Beautiful Two Boys. Sport F <laughs> beautiful <laughs> Boys! Beautiful Boys! <laughs> uh, uh, man, no, so uh, Andrew Heaton will eventually be here. When he shows up, 
everyone's gonna scream and and yell and run around <laughs> and, and be and act like we're afraid of them. <laughs> no, all right. Well, all right. Here's the deal. As soon as Andrew Eaton comes in, we have to launch into Beautiful Boys. <laughs> all right. Okay. All so right, at some right. point, it might be during the game. It might yeah. be during the first act. It might be during uh, a bunch of different stuff. But if if you, the audio listener, hear us immediately start screaming and, and dancing to Beautiful Boys, you will know that Andrew Heaton has made his way into the studio. Well, now I feel like we have to do something to fill the, the dead air that was originally going to be occupied by the dulcet t- tones of, 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 of Andrew, Andrew Heaton. Heaton. Well, what do you say we go to our first topic, bro? All right, our first topic is... BB, what? <laughs> We're on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what that, was hold on. that? Brett, is this the first time you're seeing yes. that? Yes. <laughs> what, what do you think Shit, that hold on. means? Bryce, you didn't, I, you didn't find that video somewhere else, did you? No, I, I didn't. You. So okay. please All right. do that while <laughs> Brian does this go. bit. Oh, <laughs> you talk about, talk about the boat. Oh, uh, 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 which one? Uh, <laughs> So you guys were on a boat, huh? Oh, no. Okay, look, uh, Brett, uh, real quick. What do you think? First of all, describe the, the word that you couldn't say. It looked like it was BB gerbs. <laughs> what, That's do it. You, what do you think? Let's say let's say we're, we're doing, um, uh, what was that? Uh, we're doing Liars Club from the 1970s. That's a relevant game show re- reference. Sure. Right? <laughs> and you had to make up what you think that word came from and what it means well i thought maybe it was a uh something straight from south park where they were beautiful boys were taking our germs <laughs> so, okay so what jo- what jobs do you think the beautiful boys would steal uh, from the, the mostly dentist? prancing jobs okay. prancing prancing based jobs uh uh, uh, posing based jobs really just anything korean pop boy pop bands that kind of work. What if I were to tell you that 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 uh, BB was a reference to Brian Brushwood? Would that oh, help you at all? Uh, well, you have a lot of gerbs, though. But, but no, there's only one. I okay. only have one gerb. But you got the BB. You understand the BB in this, yes? I do now. Gotcha. Uh, okay, <laughs> so in the beginning, I met just Robert Young because he was interviewing me for a uh, a, 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 a publication, and. Uh, just the magic a, website. I'm not ashamed. Justin Robert I Young. I used to write about magicians for money. <laughs> <laughs> I got paid. I got paid. I did what I needed to do. Yeah. And God damn it, I don't regret a single day of it. I worked every day of my life talking to magicians. And if you think you can put me down, <laughs> sir, you have another thing coming. That's my. Uh, we're submitting that to the Emmys for this season. That's my. So that's my. Uh, that's for my reel. I would say maybe within like an hour and a half of meeting Justin Robert Young, I just go. I just blurt out. I'm like, uh, hey, whatever. Call you jury. And, and Justin's like, uh, no, Brian Brushwood, uh, magician who's headlining at Halloween Horror Nights. I don't know why anybody would ever call me Jerry. Like, oh, because your name is Just Robert Young, J R Y, Jerry. That seems fun. Anyway, and then uh, 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 Jerry, of course, because that's two whole syllables, <laughs> eventually got condensed down just to germs. To germs. To germs. <laughs> to yeah. germs. So, yeah, no, it was uh, 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 Brian immediately created a nickname for me for which. <laughs> Justin, not a very nicknameable <laughs> name, but uh, Jerry was born, and then Jerbs came from that. Jerbs. <sighs> but we were on a boat. We were on a boat. Uh, we went uh, on on a fun little boat trip with a bunch of friends, and uh, it was it was a good time. It was a bunch of people that you were meeting for the first time, though. Yeah, uh, uh, f- uh, almost everyone except for I think we can out the fact that Mike TV was there. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, by the way. If you have the opportunity to be on a boat with a fully clothed vampire, <laughs> I highly recommend the okay, experience. Okay, so number one, number one, all right, here's the thing about Mike TV on a boat. Uh, if you've ever seen Mike TV perform live on this show or in person whenever we've done any kind of live event, you've seen Mike TV on a boat. <laughs> he wears the exact same shit, like down to the sunglasses and the wristbands. And the jeans. And, and the, the jeans. And the jeans. And the jeans. And it's too no hot shorts. for jeans. No, no shorts. Not, not and even flip-flops. certainly flip-flop. not a bathing suit. Wow. And so we, we get on the boat, and I'm like, really dressed for the waves, huh? And he's like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. I just. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, don't, yeah I just, I don't like water. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm a gremlin, too. Uh, 
So, uh, so <laughs> anyway, if you don't mind, as soon as we stop, I'm going to go on the upper deck and take off my shirt so you know I'm not a vampire. Look at all this sunlight. I swear I'm not defensive about it. Look, he's sparkling. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> to see Mike TV sunbathing on the top of this boat. In full jeans. In full jeans and the fucking wristbands <laughs> stay on the entire time. It is the way that you know that like a professional wrestler is at the beach and not like, <laughs> like, like behind the scenes. Like he just is in full gimmick uh, uh, and he's like, hey man, I'm on a boat now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it, it's, uh, that, uh, that was great. Almost everybody on the boat was a media creator of some variety. Yes. And so it's a big pontoon boat and you know, we're going out for a four hour trip and um, you know, we get, the, we're on the tour where I guess this, this guy's routine is to start off by saying, let me show you what real money looks like. And then he just points at houses and tells ghost stories about, like, this guy created Bumble, yeah. and he didn't like his neighbor, so he said, here's a check, write a number, and get fucked. Yeah. Here's what a house looks like a month after you get uh, $4.3 million and leave. Wow. This is an awful tour. <laughs> it was, it was uh, in hindsight, we probably just should have went out to the to the, to the, the cove to the and cove went swimming. And, yeah. and went that's that's what it got like really good. That, that was that was fun. So uh, uh, here is a clip of Brian and I. Uh, uh, I decided I have not added to my Instagram stories in a long time, but I felt like this was a fun moment. Brian and I were together. So this is uh, some fun content here. We're doing social media now. Yeah, we are. We're influencing you. We're influencing you. You know, you know it, but now you're going to buy Clorox wipes. Buy Clorox wipes. <laughs> Clorox wipes. You don't know why you want to buy Clorox wipes right now. <laughs> uh, so that begins a runner. That's literally the first time that Brian decided to mention Clorox wipes. Right, and and that, I did not even know because Justin likes to surprise me with suddenly there's a camera in my face, and yeah. and it's like I suddenly realized, oh, we're doing great night, <laughs> and yeah, uh, and 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 uh, the first product I could think of was Clorox wipes. Uh, uh, so so then this happens. Uh, there's there's a slide on the boat. It's one of these party pontoon boats. And so my wife's like, like, oh, here, I'll take a video of you guys sliding down the thing. But of course, we can't just be sliding down the thing. We have to be doing a bit. Because and we're so, idiots. Uh, and, and, so, and so this is uh, the, 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 the clip of us, of us doing it, which turns into uh, yet another Clorox wipe. Which is, uh, uh, which, by the way, oh, uh, 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 we need to send an invoice to Clorox for, yeah. for that, just to see what happens. Oh, uh, oh. Here's that clip. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's me. Yo, what up, Clorox Wipes? Yeah. Hi, it's me, Brian and Justin for Clorox Wipes. Woo! When you're thinking about the savings and, and the effectiveness of Clorox Wipes, <laughs> so clean. Think of me going down this slide. What? <laughs> Not without me, you don't. <laughs> Somebody clean up this wipe out. <laughs> 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 I mean, so, I will say this: so like, Clorox got their money's worth out of us. So, <laughs> which, by the way, was none. Like, this is a bit that we're doing, right? But we're on a boat full of other YouTube people, all of which make their money through advertising <laughs> and like, influencing things. So, we're literally in the water right there, right after that video. And and one of the dudes who helped organize it is an awesome guy. He's just like, like, yeah, I think. Uh, in any other situation, people would be asking what you're doing. <laughs> but on this boat, the only thing people are going to ask are, uh, who books that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, was, what was your rate on that? <laughs> uh, it was a blast, man. It was an incredible time on, on, on the boat. Um, uh, any other boat stories? <laughs> can, can we speak um, maybe in the fictitious about somebody who had some uh, difficulties? <laughs> Save, I, you know what? I had a dream the other day. Oh, uh, you no, know, here, here. Sa safe to say this. Okay. What would you imagine if you excluded me, you, the 5,000-year-old mic television, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and anybody that, that you have in your phone, and you were only to go ahead and take the people that you had just met and av uh, guess their average age, what would you guess oh, it Christ, to be? Christ, uh, 12. This is only to say that they were in their 20s. Yes. Uh, this is not a boat full of... 12 year old. But, uh, <laughs> oh, wait. You know what? I just realized that, yeah, no, uh, tw uh, 23 at least. 23. There right? you go. Yeah. So let's say they were, they were in, the, in, their, in their younger 20s and, uh, you know, not, they were doing things that people in their, in their early 20s do. And so there was this 
this guy and his girlfriend and uh uh there's this party cove that we pull into and uh at, at and it's bonkers by the way it's like it's fun like time maybe maybe 30 to 50 boats uh all of them platformers in there our captain who is named Seabass. yep of course it is because of course he is yeah uh is like Hey guys, if you really want to party, here's a floating beer pong table that comes with the boat. And so this guy, sweetheart of a human, not uh, not Seabass. Sea, sea, uh, sea sea Seabass is sea a grizzled sea old sea captain. Oh yeah, no, he said, "Yar, I fuck hard, I fuck often, and I fuck with the door open." <laughs> <laughs> So That's awkward. actually what he said to everybody when they walked on. <laughs> <laughs> he shook their hand and said, Hi, fuck hard, fuck off, and fuck with the door open. Uh, my name is Seabass. Uh, fuck hard, fuck off, and fuck with the door open. My name is Seabass. Oh, the lady. Yeah. Oh, I fuck hard, and fuck off. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't fuck hard, fuck off, and to you too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Top of the fuck morning, fuck morning, fuck off into you. Yeah, here's your complimentary Coral Clorox wipes. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy uh, uh, gets the beer pong table. By the way, it's all couples. There's one single guy, aside from Seabass, who, who, who brought who, fucks who, off <laughs> and fucks the door open. Who brought, who brought his girlfriend. So this uh, uh, let's call him Steve. Steve, Steve. is dating Jenny, mm -hmm. uh, and and Todd is the only single guy. So Todd is like, "Hey, it's great hanging out with you boys, but there's like a bunch of ladies uh, uh, out there having a good time. I bet you one of them single. Uh, uh, I would like to go join some of the rest of the madness." This is Todd, the, Todd, un the single, the guy. unconnected one. Yeah. What did I name the other guy? Do you uh, remember? Steve and Jenny. Steve, Steve and Jenny. Little yeah. Diddy. Steve. About Steve and Jenny. So, Steve. Goes with Todd and says, "Fucking uh, hard, nothing." <laughs> well, not after what he said there. Yeah, okay. Uh, he goes to Jenny and says, uh, "Hey, uh, we're gonna go look for girls." That sorry. Uh, so Todd is 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 has permission, but but Steve is connected. God. He has permission by God <laughs> yeah. to find a mate. In fact, yeah. one might say a mandate <laughs> to yeah. go find a mate. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, and so Steve decides to say to his girlfriend, we're, we're going to go find, find girls. girls. And Jenny is not pleased about that. And well, so but, but she seems like a good sport because Jenny says. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know if I'd consider this good sport. It is all the ladies in the audience will know exactly what this means when she said, can I come with you? Which is not. Oh, is that how she said it? Oh, Ooh. it was it was a it was a like, are you really defying me? Can I come with you? Kind of thing. Okay, this yeah. makes a little bit more sense now because I the way thought I it was I, earnest. Well, in my mind, I thought it was like, "Can I come with you?" Yeah. <laughs> either way, in either situation, Steve is still an asshole when he goes, "No." Oh. <laughs> Steve, what an asshole! <laughs> Steve goes swimming and now off. Steve with is Todd. single. <laughs> I, will, I will say no. Everything was patched up, but it was definitely. It was like it was like twenties drama that it's like oh. Oh, I remember that. It was like it was like seeing like an old television show that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, it, was, it was like watching DVDs of Spaced. What one might? <laughs> it was, it like was, that's some shit I did in my twenties. Oh, was, I remember that. It was a fully immersive TV show because uh, I, while I uh, hung out with Jenny, uh, one of us had to be the messenger to go fetch Steve with the parchment. <laughs> So I had to go swim out to go find where Steve was playing uh, 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 playing beer pong. <laughs> that was oh, a floating beer pong yeah, table. No. So I thought you challenge meant like with I don't girls. Know. Did you miss that part? Yeah. They were out challenging all covers. <laughs> and depending on how the spelling, I guess Steve would have been Whoa. in different trouble. But uh, uh, yeah, so I had, I had to go swim out and find the man. And uh, So anyway, and, so yeah. Steve's over there. He's playing the beer pong. And so I go, uh, hey, uh, you fucked up. What? Why? Uh, hold on. Let me take this turn. <laughs> uh, what, what's up? Uh, uh, gonna get <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, anyway, you she was very upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was very upset, and other people on the boat knew uh, about it. Amazingly, Steve didn't like legit. Mm, anyway, Steve. <laughs> that's Steve. <laughs> Steve. Steve. He needed a cl some Clorox wipes. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but 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 there we go. That was the boat trip. Yay! Yay! Uh, all right, Bryce, next topic. Our next topic. <laughs> Kid picks. Uh-oh.
All right, we're going to play a little round of, of what is Justin, see, or what is everybody watching, okay? So, so uh, Bryce, have you seen this yet? I have seen a few frames of this. Perfect. Um, so uh, uh, in the last like five or six days, uh, Calliope, who is, is, is so industrious and gifted and uh, uh, technologically savvy, decides- your, your, your youngest daughter who is aged what? Eight years old. Eight years eight old. Eight years old. And so she decides that she wants to learn animation. And so she asks her older sister who does animation, uh, what do I need? And you're like, well, you need this tool and this tool. And so Bonnie gets it for the iPad or whatever. And constantly she's starting to play and she's like what should i animate what should i animate and so she realizes that an easy thing to animate is um uh, she animates opening an animal jam account <laughs> logging in clicking and and all of that stuff like she's screen recording this no no, no. This she's dr she's drawing pictures frame by frame of what it eventually oh, she's like doing wiki how she's like doing an e how type of thing well no she's she's drawing pictures she's going as, through the steps as that, that, if that, that, it was that a screen going capture to animate it. right yeah. she's yeah. yeah so so like a so uh the program she's using is flip a clip and so she's like uh uh <clears throat> uh, I'm making a, uh, uh, I'm using a flip a clip to make uh, I, I'm using a flip a clip to animate flip a clip to make an animation or something like that. But 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 she was doing basically she was doing all this meta stuff, and at some point she starts animating like other login things or whatever. And uh, in one of them, there's like a loading bar, a progress bar, right? Yeah. And Bonnie mentions that uh, that uh, that her loading bar looks because she's using the color green and because the it's not really a, a rectangle a square it's kind of like an oval thing bonnie mentions that it looks like a cucumber uh uh or or, or a pickle and so uh uh this is i i i want you bryce to describe okay. uh what what, what <laughs> when she reveals the final animation sure. after hearing that prompt what she what she does okay well we are uh, this is only about three seconds here so I'll just, uh, we're looking at a, kind of a rounded uh, ovaloid yep. maybe for yep. for the yep. empty loading bar it says zero percent in green I, I think knowing everything you know you could probably just watch all three seconds and then break it down for everybody all right here we go uh, oh. what? Uh, okay so uh, uh, so it counted to 10 and then it said a hundred percent complete. And then, and what was that? An eyeball? Oh, I, you do it again. A kitty? Uh, hold on. So a cat, show, a cat shows up. All right. So a cat shows up. It's like smiling and then it's winking. It gets scared. The gloating bar gets an eyeball and like a long tongue, like a frog's tongue. All right. Remember back, what was the prompt that Bonnie had mentioned that caused this animation? The cucumber? This uh, is a living cucumber? <laughs> It, what, none of you. Uh, all right, Annalisa already got it. She already got it. Anybody else? There we go. There we go. In the chat, uh, I see it. Cat, cats are afraid of. Are cats are afraid of cucumbers? Wait, you guys don't know this? <laughs> I don't know that. Did you? Wait, 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 none of you guys. There was a. It was an episode that was explicitly explained with Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Uh, he, he says, "Hey, uh, I, I know you're a cat, and I know th there are all those YouTube videos of cats that are afraid of, of pickles because they think they're snakes." You, did oh. you not watch the fucking episode? Am from, I the only one? From seven fucking years ago? Yeah, I mean, I also saw it. Um, <laughs> the phenomenon, the meme phenomenon? Of, <laughs> like, yes, of like, Pickle Rick. Not that cats are scared of pickles. What? It was an aside. It wasn't the point of the Pickle episode. Pickle Rick is the joke. No, yeah. the, uh, but, but, but the meme was so big that uh -huh. it was commented upon in yeah. Rick and Morty. No, but, and yet but the that meme was, that was where went Rick, past you that guys. That was the one where Rick was a pickle. <laughs> and he says that in the program. Yeah. Yes, he He's carefully not, explains he the said, joke. No, no, Bryce. So just Bryce, in Bryce, case Bryce, Bryce, nobody Bryce, Bryce, was gonna. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got fuck it. you. Fuck you. Bryce, fuck he you. says, "I'm pickle Rick." He's no, a pickle Rick. I remember that. That's what Brian is trying to get. Is this a webisode? Are you describing a webisode? Extra Rick. digital content. He's never He's seen the YouTube video. Webisodes. Bryce, will you please see if you just type a cat pickle. Uh, in YouTube and see what yeah. comes up. Ooh, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah. yeah. I got to take yeah. a second to change yeah. accounts yeah. for that. Boy, this is going to go well. Big boy pussy pickle. Yeah. 
This is gonna go well. That one auto completes. Turns out that one auto completes. Are small pussy scared of big versus cucumbers? That's what I want you to type in. So cats versus cucumbers. So we're looking at a clip here from 2017 about 2.9 million views. Cats versus cucumber pickles. You might never hear it. I mean, they all think this is this is very funny. You've you've shown me something very funny and got that's why I didn't see it before. So now okay, we are we are watching. God, this is a great audio episode. We can't keep watching. This is a out. great audio See, episode. Seeing cucumbers. So, okay. So now That's exactly what it sounds like. This is hilarious. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> yeah. We're learning Apparently how the I joke works. We're being told how funny. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. Uh, You're okay. gonna laugh now. Right, now, now, do you get it? It's it's uh, oh, uh, it's 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 she she was told that the loading bar looked like a cucumber. She made it into yes, a cucumber. I... Made a cat show up. The cat is surprised, runs away, and then it turns out it actually is a snake. Is that clap for? All right, fuck all y'all. My kid's a genius. <laughs> y'all are assholes. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, Korok wipes. Hey, shout out to uh, Callie for finding a meme from when she was born, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four fucking years. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Callie. I'm I'll sorry, Callie. Like, I'm sure okay. she thought that shit was hilarious in utero. God damn it. <laughs> I, I, I just want to, if I wish hard enough, will Andrew Heaton be, be here? Yeah, where is that fool? I don't know. He's yeah, almost we'll here. find out when Beautiful Boys here, get sung. Let, let me, right, let, one here. more topic. We got one more topic. <laughs> Brett's getting Brett swole. Brett gets swole. What? Come on up here, Brett. Uh, Brett, Brett has is, to be is, live on camera for this. Is Brett trying to horn in on our Beautiful Boy Jam? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I just yeah. said Beautiful Boy Jam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're all getting close as a as a cast these days. We're all sharing our beautiful boy jam. Beautiful boy jam. <laughs> sharing that beautiful boy jam. Um, what is that? Brett. Yes. You uh, uh, were gonna say something uh, last week, but uh, yes. didn't get a chance to do it. You you are you are making a, a a commitment to fitness. Yes, I am making a commitment to fitness because I had 3D pictures taken of myself and I look like a toddler. So uh, that's not good at 50 years old. To I, I mean, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You did that uh, before you no. made the commitment to no. fitness? No, or? but I was, it was, a, I was trying to, you were trying to, you were, you trying to, so that's part of what you were that doing. That was part of the deal. Gotcha. So, uh, so you, you pay for this. Yes. I pay money. For this. <laughs> you pay for them to take erotic uh, toddler <laughs> yes. pictures yes. of you. Questionable I, pictures. Questionable <laughs> pictures. I want to see myself as a beautiful boy. boy. <laughs> and they're like, well, you're an okay looking toddler, I guess. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I uh, have, have uh, decided to get in shape now that my, uh, my scar has healed and the, my neck is fused. Yep. Uh, and uh, so I'm going for it. And By the way, good. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Round of applause. applause. Now yeah. I've never heard of this working out. Yeah, there's this thing called working out. Nah, and yeah, also good. What did you discover it in utero? Yes, no, seven <laughs> years ago. <laughs> good bird, right, Brian. That's right a funny one. That's, that's a funny one. Pickle. Let me Brian. tell you about this pickle. In Brian. The cat. Brian is really trying to yes and through those singed <laughs> feathers. <it> is. <laughs> So uh, what 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 method uh, from the menu of getting fit? I you... do release the. It's kind of like the Orange Theory, kind of the high intensity training. So it's a little like a, like a like a Trump thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's the most beautiful workout I've ever done. Nobody has made better workouts than this. Yeah. I'm telling you. I've decided I'm going to get into Trump jokes. I feel like everybody's <laughs> yeah. cleared out. Yeah. Everybody's cleared out. Yeah. Now it's I can finally make a now. fun little yeah. home. You're like, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a new Hey, topic. you know he was fat and orange? <laughs> <laughs> Shit is hilarious. <laughs> Tiny hands. That was yeah. He has small so hands. Here we are. Yeah. And I'm doing my workout. That was on the Tonight Show for like fucking five years. Like <laughs> now, no one's using it. You're like finally, it's lightly stuff. No gently used Trump jokes. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> all right. So so you're doing orange hair, which is like like a, like a high intensity. Yes. Kind of thing. It's like 45 minutes, and they just run you into the ground. Got you. But that uh, that is your workout the, for the day. It's guided. Yes. And the idea is to go do five times a week at least. Okay. And eat less foods, which is sad, but that's happening. That's happening. And uh, and then you also figure out what your body fat content is, and they scan you, like I said, uh, 3D. That's fun. How, that happens how, once a week? Uh, once a week. 
What? Jesus Christ. Wait, not the scanning. scanning. The scanning's done. The scanning is the, done once a week. And they scan you every week too, every dog? Week. Yeah. Yep. So, wait, did, did you think the workout was once a week? <laughs> because no. that would be awesome. No, oh, no, I guess I didn't work. think about that. I'm not really, I don't really, sometimes I don't listen to the yeah, show. No, like, I mean, see, Brett's talking, so that means Bryce doesn't have to no, listen. I, That's what I thought. That was clear. Well, we know our relationship. So how, how many days into this journey are you? I am now five days in, or six days in. Yeah? yeah? Is there anything you can report? Everything hurt for a long time, and my wife was like, honey, I'm like, don't. God, everything hurt. Everything hurt, but not everything is wrong hurt. It's everything is tired and uh, all the ow. Uh, so, all right, well, we are we are on your side. Yes, we are. We are with you. I know that that because uh, uh, you've made you've made a, a goal like yes. for like what thirty days, uh, forty five days, forty five days. That you're going to be doing this. We are on your side yes. here with Great Night. You're a part of the family, yes. so we wanted to share in this journey. If you can lead us bets, through whether or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. I think my stock is shorted <laughs> big time. So, Everybody by the way, short we, we wanted to share this journey. So, we're going to need you to get naked so I can stand you with I my thought you phone. were like, we were on board with you. Here's a cheesecake we want you to eat. Like, oh, no. Uh, no, if you want to to lead us through any of the any of the workouts that you have done so far, we will do sure. them right now here with uh, you. Uh, you know, the easiest in place ones, of course, are the burpees. Okay. That we do the the uh, the uh, the mountain climbers, which is always fun. What are, what are the mountain climbers? I, 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 do you can you show us? Show you? I, I can show you. Uh, I, you have the uh, beautiful uh, boys. Beautiful 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 boys. Andrew yeah. Heaton. Andrew <laughs> Heaton. <laughs> come, come on. on. Come on. Huzzah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, 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 Andrew Heaton. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's say let's say you're on a boat, okay? Yeah. I'm and let's boat, say yeah. let's let's say your comedy partner makes a very old reference that uh -huh. nobody gets. Let's say somebody's trying to slide by, and then your comedy partner says, "Oh, look at this guy sliding. He's a regular Jerry O'Connell over here." Uh -huh. would, would would you help him sell the bit, <laughs> or would you betray him in front of everybody <laughs> so on the boat? It's like the prisoner's dilemma for comedy. For the, for for the I get fewer I get fewer years in prison if I sell him out, but yes. we but if we both pretend it's a good joke. I only get one year I forgot that you sold me out on the sliders. Joke. What are you talking about? I, I sold you on it. I burst out laughing and I I I, I, I bent over cackling. And oh, you that's said, good. That, and remember, it was a tender moment and we bonded. And you said, "That's why we're comedy partners." That's a good and point. And I doubled down by saying, uh, "Wow, man, what a fool! You regular John Reese Davies, because that's also a reference yeah. to the 1990s vehicle it's sliders." sliders. Yeah. You could have not done that and just told me, and I'd have the same warm feeling. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, Heaton, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Really, my Pleasure only regret here. is that I couldn't pull the cord out of your microphone when you were about to talk. <laughs> uh, uh, please listen, listen to the green room. Uh, uh, well, here, hold on. Let, 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 let's get to the end of, uh, end of this. Uh, you want to do some workout yes, uh, real quick, Heaton? All right, here. Yeah. We're, we're, we're yeah. Clear the floor. By the way, you just come in from driving eight hours and you look like this. I, I wanted to dress up for the show for the I good of the right, audience. Yeah. I, I have great respect for yeah. great night and the great night audience. <laughs> That's the new song. No, for the audio listeners, uh, Heaton looks like he is uh, I, I look like Bob Cratchit in Texas right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he definitely he, he he looks like uh, uh, uh if a young Jerry Jones got uh, f uh, fell into a time warp and uh, came out the Dickensian at the other end. Yes. Yeah, that's my stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna clear uh, uh, the the, clear the dance space. floor here. Okay. Here so uh, yeah, we're yeah. doing it with him. I mean, oh, wait, we yeah. have to do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, I already did my workout. It was beautiful, boy. Well. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. So uh, uh, first, uh, of course, you have to you know do the high steps in place. The high yeah. steps. Wait. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And you're doing a whole bunch, a lot of those, and then jump up. And then jump up, this, this short body. jump ups, and then you gotta do yep. the mountain climbers, of course. So then you get down here, and you, you switch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so oh. then hey, this is <laughs> bit, yeah. on, bit so on the nose. <laughs> and then comedy's a lot funnier when you're out of breath. For the record, <laughs> yeah. so, so then you do the uh, you do the uh, <laughs> you do the uh, the burpees. Do the, mm -hmm. the burpees. burpees. Yeah, you do the burpees. Hey. Uh, so yeah. we do the burpees. So you, do the, you 
You can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> so now the downside of this. Nah, hang on. Is that? No, hold on. No, hold on a minute. Last time I checked, burpees involved a push-up. You guys. I did a push-up. <laughs> That, that's, uh, see, yeah. that's a burp. And then you, and yeah, then you no, touch and God's balls. Ball. Yeah. Yeah, well. you did a good job. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, oh. the downside We're was... We're going to be beautiful boys. Yeah, yesterday morning was my the, 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 the big workout to, to end the week. Huh. And I was the lowest... <laughs> the only person who sco- scored lower than me didn't show up. Oh. So uh, that... Did, felt did, good. did you say it was the big workout to end the week? Yes. <laughs> was, was yesterday not Monday? Well, the, I started. I started on Wednesday. So. Oh my bad. It was a yeah. fiscal week. Sorry, we don't think it's a fiscal week. That's right. Uh, it was. It was Jewish week. It started on uh, Wednesday. Oh yeah, Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we all have that marked on the calendar. Jewish week. <laughs> Starts on Wednesday. I gotta remember to I go get know. my. I gotta remember to get my 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 aunt a card. Yeah. <laughs> Jewish week. Wait, Jewish week starts yeah. on Wednesday. Oh, I don't shit. know why. Can, oh, we're closed early for can, Jewish week. <laughs> All right, uh, a real thing that happened is I was trying to go get a game show that would have a theme of Jewish week, and there was one game show that popped into mind. And I was like, nope. Uh, yeah, how about we don't? Uh, how about we don't? Uh, we don't. Uh, uh, all right, there we go. Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, Brad. Thank you. Yay! Continued success. Become Happy a beautiful Jewish boy. Happy Jewish week, everybody. Happy Jewish Happy week. Happy Jewish week. Oh. Uh, Andrew uh, Heaton, how you doing? Wait, man? hold on. What's, is it, it's not chutzpah. What's the word where, where you, you go like, yay, and you break a glass? Shalom. Mazel, Mazel, Mazel tov. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, there we, that's just a fact. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Uh, they look best in Yeah. That's <laughs> what we like to call educating the goy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good segment. Uh, so you uh, 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 just parked the car, came running in. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah. oh, here's my, here's my real good. question. Yeah. Uh, I gave you a commandment. You made a joke, and I said, you fucking do that. I, yeah, so I, I have been listening to a podcast, and then I, I switched it over, and okay. I, you, I played alternately Waylon Jennings and Neil Diamond and sang to them at the top of my lungs to get pumped for this. Fuck yeah! yeah. And, and I'm about where I want to be. Okay, good. Uh, forever Wait, what in was, blue what jeans. Was the bit? And I did blow what with was... Jacob in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what was the bit? Uh, oh, uh, 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 the bit was uh, 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 after you kept hanging up on him all during the pre-show, I went out and called and talked him off a ledge because <laughs> yeah. he was very upset. Oh, Brian, he Brian very hard called to be me. Here, and I was like, look, man, I want you to do nothing but give yourself forgiveness and grace. I want you to come in to a hero's welcome. And he jokingly said, man, I feel great. I should listen to Journey. I was like, you fucking do that. And then he did it. And now he's here. Now and you're all caught up. Justin called me five minutes later and said, if you respect someone, you respect their time. And <laughs> <through> the <laughs> He broke his phone. He was so angry at me. Shut it, muzzle top. God damn it, you fucker. Hot asshole. <laughs> Got a goddamn muzzle top joke before me. I mean, it's an old joke. I wouldn't expect you to get it. <laughs> Okay, and that's, I got pickle. That's where I can. So we, we've been doing fucking pickle. We've been doing sliders jokes. Is that the thing? No. Uh, 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 we'll catch you. It was just a okay. hypothetical. Yeah. It would have uh, been something that you would have gotten if you would have fucking showed up on time. <laughs> that's fine. We can just, just, it just hold on. In my defense, try driving from Oklahoma to to, to Texas. When you can't go within 300 yards of a school at any point, I defy you. <laughs> Very Jesus Christ! Christ. It, it, it took me a mere eight hours. That's pretty good. Man, I don't even think you can watch the clip we played to get to that cucumber joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I feel like there's no better moment for us to, to bring to on another bring guest. Bring on the Patreon. Oh, that's Patreon. right. Patreon.com. Yeah. Say, uh, Justin. Hey, Brian. I was thinking the other day, what? the deal with this Patreon? Well, computers have revolutionized society, Brian. Uh, I, I still finger my own butt. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, in, but that's in, the only digital stimulation I need. But in five oh. to ten years, <laughs> a digital you stimulation won't okay, have to. <laughs> what? 
Because you'll have so much money from patreon.com slash great night that you can buy yourself a butt fingering machine. <laughs> patreon.com slash great night is where you can give us money for liking the show. We already like it, and we get money for it. Imagine how excited you'll be when you give us money. When you pay for Wait, it. Wait, you're, you're saying I could be automated if this goes particularly well? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just steal your clothes and put you in the Hall of Presidents yeah. next to that fat orange guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tapped. Uh, <laughs> If you would like to go to patreon.com slash great night, you can get a bonus episode each and every week. And this bo week's bonus episode is going to be great because our friend Matt Donnelly is going to be on it. Uh, uh, I mean, Heaton, too, if he wants to fucking show up on time. But like, uh, I'll be there on time, but I'll be drunk. Yeah. Uh, but go ahead over there right now, patreon.com slash great night. Oh, man. Uh, 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 you you, you want to bring more people on stage? Let's bring more people on stage. Uh, well, I mean, I guess let's pick. I need a volunteer from the audience. I need a volunteer. Anybody? Oh, yeah, you, sir, in the back. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Las Vegas' own Matt Donnelly. Hey! Yeah. All right, let's 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 scooch a little bit for the framing here. There we go. All right, let's cozy up over here. So he came in five minutes later than me. Everybody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting shit at all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ice Cream Social Zone, uh, Matt Donnelly, uh, uh, are you ready to play? Yes. <laughs> okay, d uh, I guess this is like... A, a I am big... not overcompensating for the tiny size of my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> we had to give Actually, him a new this, tiny this microphone. This is a game that I'm glad uh, there are guests here for, because for the first time in fucking like five years in any incarnation of this show, I wrote a game. Oh, what? Wait, okay. you, you wrote this one? I wrote this game, so I can't play. Oh, oh, shit. So this is going to be a three-way dance between the three I was, all, the, the I was three all ready for boys. a tag team uh, matchup. Uh, two Funny on you two. should say tag team is that it is wrestling theme, but it was actually co-written by myself and Darren Kitchen, who is uh, here, here in our audience. Back on Darren Kitchen. But we were, uh, we were, we were uh, drinking one night, and we were uh, going over the fact that it turns out when you look at the names of both famous hackers and famous wrestlers, you might have a hard time picking out which is which, which Dude. is why we're playing Hacker or Lucha! <laughs> the five stars <laughs> Yelp review for, for Matt Tapass joining yeah, us. He's, like, yes. He's here. If I can chant, I go for it. <laughs> he thinks I'm number one like that butt fingering machine will for you. Uh, one day. One I gotta tell finger you, crossed. I really, I really am half in the game because I keep thinking about getting my hands on one of those. <laughs> uh, so, so how are we playing this one? Uh, so I've got some names here uh, of, of uh, I'm going to give you a pair. One is a hacker, one is a wrestler. You're going to have to tell me which one you think is the wrestler or the hacker. They'll be uh, one or the other. Ooh, goodness. Uh, they'll be one or the other. And uh, uh, and uh, yeah, you'll get a point if you're right. You'll get no point if are, you're are, are, are we playing in the round? or, or uh, Everybody all... will guess. Yeah, okay, everybody will guess. All right, all right, all right. Um, so we'll start with Brian on this one. This is kind of an example one. I kind of got this one as an example. Uh, which is the wrestler and which is the hacker between the Iron Sheik and the Iron Geek? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I refuse to answer the questions on the grounds that it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to opt out of the game? Wait, before we actually start no, playing. No, it's so obvious. Are we, before we actually start playing, Brett, what is our consequence tonight? <laughs> <laughs> well, fellas. <laughs> It's a good one. This so there's week. not there's no prize. It's just consequence. No, there's never a prize. <laughs> it's there's a lot like life in that consequence. way. <laughs> uh, work hard, boys, because whoever's the loser loser gets to put up an epic rice cum tweet what? for twenty four <gasps> hours. Twenty four hours. Yes. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Hello, Bryce. Qu- you question from the panelists. What is the know, Bryce Pump Tweet? I got a deal. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's exactly what it sounds exactly like. What it's it all like, like. Uh, uh, show biz, more like show jizz. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, oh, that's, post, actually, that's really wait, good, Bryce. I have to post one of the re- pictures he texted me <laughs> on my Twitter profile. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait did, did I actually win approval for that one? Oh, that was a good one. Okay, that was right, good. Right, yeah. So that's, that's, yeah. I just want to say right now that my Twitter handle is at thebucketshow.com. <laughs> uh, that's uh, old me, Schwood Black Ops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no fakers. Uh, so here we go. Uh, 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 so uh, Iron yep. Cheek and Iron Geek, of course, you would say. Uh, the Iron Cheek is a wrestler, uh, and the Iron Geek is a hacker. There we go. And then we would do that for everybody, but this is a pretty easy one. Yeah. Uh, turns out the Iron Cheek is a wrestler, and the Iron Geek isn't. Uh, what? A guy. Yeah. I didn't realize you'd have a photo of him, though. That's really good. I do. I have photos for most everybody God, on this hold game. Hold on. Show Kinda me the Iron like Geek the again. The... Do you remember that time that, that like he betrayed uh, everyone on Caprica? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a it's an old reference. But oh, I noticed <laughs> you laugh. Of all the people, of all the people that you want to mock their physical appearances, <laughs> hackers. No, sorry. I think, no, it's a compliment. Hackers? Gaius Baltar is the handsomest motherfucker on the whole show. Fucking say, tell me otherwise. You what? what do you this guy, this guy does wear a mean suit. <laughs> fuck oh, yeah. you. Oh fuck, dude. I'll do salt tie. I love John, John McCain in that. Yeah, show. he can he can he can he can hit my number two. Uh, <laughs> oh god, right. This, this is not my has anything right. to say. This is getting really close to appropriation, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with uh Andrew on this one. Okay. I'm gonna give you two names, Andrew. You're gonna tell me which one is the wrestler or which one is the hacker. Okay. Uh we've got, and this is not the cartoon character, Captain Crunch or Captain Lou Albano. Andrew, we're looking for Captain Crunch or Captain Lou Albano, which is the wrestler, which is This is a good game. This is, good this, game. This is you, tough you have won my full approval. On, on the one hand, I believe crunches are necessary for great abs, which <laughs> many wrestlers would have. But on the other hand, hackers care about breakfast, right? That's true. That's true. That's, 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 I know, no, I know, yeah. I know no, literally no, one hacker. lovers, the hacking community. <laughs> okay, wait, can you put <laughs> it on the screen again? It was, it was Captain Crunch it's and Lou. Captain Crunch and Captain Lou Albano. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and say Captain Crunch is the wrestler and Lou Albano is the hacker. All right, you're gonna say Crunch is the wrestler and yes. Albano is the hacker. Uh-huh. All right, uh, Matt, Matt Donnelly, what do you think? The opposite of Heaton. Uh, <laughs> say the opposite well, of Heaton. Man, okay. I should have done uh, that. Hey, Matt, what uh, what's what's your thinking there? I think it is game theory. God damn I it. I figure if I just go the opposite of Heaton on every <laughs> quest. <laughs> See, gentlemen, you can't lose. Well, gentlemen, what you guys got to realize is that Captain Crunch is the famous hacker who discovered that a whistle that comes in Captain Crunch cereal happens to blow at the exact same tone that a payphone used to register the fact the money had been put into it, and he figured out he could make free long-distance phone calls. Uh. Captain Lou Albano, on the other hand, besides being the live-action after-school uh, uh, Mario, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Original Mario mm-hmm. and BFF and father figure in the Cindy Lauper <laughs> just, uh, just want to have fun, fun uh, is a wrestler. Uh, All right, he's also a messy like, eater. Like, messy he, eater. He's like, he's like a Mr. Wizard you want to punch in the tank. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is unfair. Brian's a criminal and 10 years older than me, so he would know this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew doesn't even know what he... Oh, oh. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Oh. We've got your answers in here. It looks like uh, Andrew's the odd one out here saying Captain Crunch is the wrestler here. Free thinker. <laughs> <laughs> one might say a political orphan. <laughs> uh, and it turns out Jury was right. That's right. Yeah, and you were so right. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wrote, I wrote the game. So, oh, really oh, fucking better. so was Brian and Matt. Uh, that's right. Captain Crunch is a hacker and Captain Lou Albano. Uh, that's right. Was Mario. Made Mario say the F word. Bryce, can I add something? <laughs> Yes, hey, what's up? Uh, I've had dinner with Captain Captain Lou Albano. No kidding. Yeah, wow. and his famous thing was, I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's that pretty was, good. And he loved Cindy Lauper. No, how how, how no. drunk? How drunk? We were drunk. Yeah, we were pretty. Oh, he was, he was, but me but or in the he restaurant, no, no, no. But Lou in Albano. the restaurant, everybody loved Captain Lou. They oh, were you, I, just I, I, the that best. That would be that would be an all timer. A, a a a late drunk with Captain Lou Albano. The best. All right. Now that uh, now that there are no more payphones, Brian can use those whistles for the commercial product we advertised earlier. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
All right, there we go. That's uh, the first round here, Brian, and Matt got the point there. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. What are you calling the Supreme your, Court? Your, 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 your anti-heating strategy is going swimmingly, Matt. I'm <laughs> really scared about this cum tweet thing. <laughs> Feeling better and better you about this game by the minute. Be. I came out here to like launch a magic tour. And I'm gonna have <laughs> oh, it'll be magical. Tweet on my Twitter account. <laughs> for for hours. Yeah. Um, Every time you're really worried about it, just yell another date that you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Elton, Maryland. <laughs> uh, in fact, that'd be a good way to promote your next show with the Showbiz Show Jizz. <laughs> Showbiz Showjiz. Yeah. Showbiz Showjiz. Um, showbiz Showjiz, showjiz is another great. You want to play Showbiz or Showjiz, kid? <laughs> Stick these dates on your calendar. Move your feet from side to side. Semen. <laughs> 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 this episode is for Bryce. This is my episode. <laughs> for me, Rich for me. Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> No oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they call them mariners when they're really just cum. <laughs> You'll do the no. lily a little what? bit on that. No. Too far, man. See, semen. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that, oh. Yeah. That Jesus just, Christ. Oh, that, too that was, clever. That, that, Apparently that, that, working over the room. That was a some assembly required joke. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. That's a vast deference of a joke. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Urethra, I figured it out. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, round two. Uh, which is the wrestler and which is the hacker? Matt, we're going to start with you. We got the names. Benny, bring it. Buddy Murphy okay. and... Dade Murphy. There should be an R there. Dade Murphy. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> which is the wrestler, which is the hacker? Buddy or Dade Murphy? Do either of these names ring a bell to you? No. No. I haven't watched those weird wrestling documentaries on Hulu. Mm. Wait, wait, which one, if you were to, because if there, one's a wrestler, then you'd, you'd imagine they'd be like announced. If you were going to announce, All right. wait, wait, which sounds more Coming like into the ring, Dade Murphy. That sounds, that sounds legit. Uh, honey, we owe 1,000 Cardano coins to Dade Murphy. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, <laughs> What was the other Murphy? Also a really good buddy. Short buddy. <laughs> it was Buddy Murphy or Dade Murphy, which is the wrestler or which is the hacker. Here's what I know. Both of them go by Murph when they walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Murph! 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 All right. I'm going to go um, uh, Buddy Murphy wrestler, Dade Murphy hacker. All right. You're going to go Buddy is the wrestler, Dade is the hacker. We're going to go to Brian. Yeah, I'm going to agree. But uh, Buddy Murphy, I, 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 it's hard for me to picture, um, uh, without without it being some kind of clever pun, uh, uh, the hacker name be, uh, having Buddy in it. But I can totally picture that. Mm -hmm. like, you don't think uh, like Buddy Christ or something like that? Like That, what, that was what, geek culture. That That's correct. Uh, also, a clever reference to whatever. But uh, but like, uh, like uh, so Buddy Christ, if that was the name, I would say hacker. But instead, I'm, I'm picturing like a 1950s, Early, you know, yeah, local see? circus. Like, uh, 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 please welcome to the ring, uh, former Army Captain James J. Air quotes, Buddy Murphy. All right, so if, if Buddy Murphy were coming to the uh, uh, Dallas Metroplex, yep. uh, uh, what, what, what would he say? Uh, what would it be like a Buddy Murphy promo? Uh, 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 oh, he'd be, uh, he'd be all like, uh, <clears throat> he'd be all like. Uh, because this is in old times. Old uh, times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'd be all... Right, <laughs> all <laughs> my like, wall like, the right next to him. Like. <laughs> right. He's like... <laughs> I got... I, I Don't got make it racist. I got nothing. Whatever you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said old times. Well, you then I'll keep know. my mouth shut. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to imagine a racist wrestling promo. <laughs> be, uh, actually, wow, I, wanted, I pictured him coming out and saying, like, well, I just hope we have a very fair fight. And uh, I, for one, don't really care for that other wrestler. And then it's like, like that's, that's smack talk back in the 1950s. Gotcha. And then, and then they, 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 they just they, 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 they grab each other on their shoulders and then they just stand there for, yeah. for, for like 15 minutes. And the crowd's go wild. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Ah! <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then finally, one of them throws down and, and Buddy is just like, uh, 
<laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> and then he then he votes for Eisenhower. And he wins exactly. the match. That, that is, uh, you know what? The more I say it, the more convinced Buddy I am. Murphy. That's exactly Buddy right. Murphy's yeah, the wrestler. Buddy Murphy's okay. a wrestler. Okay. okay. There we go. Andrew. Uh, which is the wrestler? Which is the hacker? Buddy the, Murphy the, or Dade Murphy? This one's tough because I know some bio on both of these. Oh. Dade Murphy was in Sliders. <laughs> <Got you. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Buddy Murphy became famous for shit he found in cereal boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't remember which one's the wrestler. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Buddy Murphy's the wrestler because I like Jason Howard. We all and agree. Da Dade Murphy is the hacker. Is the hacker. Is the hacker. All right. Everyone said Buddy is the wrestler and Dade is the hacker and everybody was. Yes! I'm shocked y'all got that. I, not everybody got it. Uh, I, I, you I, might what, recognize Dade Murphy from uh, a film, uh, Hackers. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, All right. I didn't know we were being that flexy on this stuff. All right. <laughs> All, right. All of a sudden, it's just going to be like a so-and-so or a carrot top. You're like, get it? Because he's a hat. <laughs> he's not, by the way. I'm told that uh, his show's quite good. The guy who... What, are you scared of carrot the... Yes, I am. I would be, too. <laughs> yeah, right? He's yeah, still yeah, 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 fucking he's makeup very on yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Friends, hands off on making fun of uh, a carrot top, but making fun of hackers who could attack your face. Exactly. Right exactly. No Look, they're all great. <laughs> they're all great. We all love everybody. Uh, all right. Uh, round three here. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian. Ready. The two names where you have to define if they're the wrestler or the hacker, Hakushi and Hakari. Oh. Hakushi oh. and Hakari. Uh, I think you should feel it through by just vocalizing whatever accent comes into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Work it out out loud. Yeah. And with that, yeah. my final answer is Hakushi <laughs> is a hacker and the other guy's a wrestler. And I'm done. <laughs> right, Hakushi is the hacker. Hakari is the wrestler. Andrew, you see, they both have hack in their name. Yeah. They both have yeah. Hack what, what did what did Brian say? I said I said hooray for Buddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, we 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 customarily do not tell other players what the. You kind of have to pay attention. Did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. Andrew. All right. I'm gonna go. Hakushi's the wrestler. Hakari is the hacker. All right. Hakushi is the wrestler. Hakari. For is... many non-racist reasons. <laughs> wow. We we really found the comedy free zone on this one. <laughs> 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 Donnelly, Hakushi, or Hakari. Here's the thing I know about wrestling. If yeah. they could be racist, they go for it. And Hakushi has the word sushi in it, and that seems like something that you <laughs> want to do to appeal to middle America that, in a town that doesn't have sports teams yeah. to get them to come out to watch <laughs> fake sports. This I'm is guessing, actually good logic. Yeah, I'm guessing Hakushi logic. is the wrestler and Hakari is the hacker. Oh, All right, you're going to say Hakushi is the wrestler, Hakari is the hacker. All right, that puts Brian as the odd one out. Brian, your answer is loser. In cold. Wait, uh, uh, Hakushi was not the Hakushi, uh, Hakushi is the wrestler. <clears throat> Hakari oh, is the dude. hacker. And, right. and, and and by the way, Hakushi is. He's, uh, we're, we're, he's no. tying for he's he's in the worst, right? You're both tied. Uh, tied second. for the worst. Oh wait, yeah. no, no, no no here we, we, no, we, got, a we got a guy for this. We got a guy. Keep your Hakari. cum <laughs> tweet fears to yourself. Eventually we'll update the San Diego. Well, San Diego second weekend of January. <laughs> <laughs> we will up, we will update the titles, but yeah no uh, Hakushi although he was a famous Japanese wrestler. The prestige. So he prestige was not theater. like, you know, a, a Samoan that they uh, decided right. was Japanese and toured to Des Moines. And wow. then uh, Hakari was the only person on this list I could not find a, a photo and, or more uh, information and, about. Classic hacker move. It, 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 it's best you can. So I got that one right, yeah? Uh, yeah, Andrew and okay. Matt both got that. Uh, right. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm receiving some intel over the, the airwaves that, uh, that, this was, that his name was misspelled. That uh, that that Hikari's name was uh, not properly spelled. It, is that true? It can be spelled in lead speak. speak. We're being told. Okay. Well, I am going off. I was given a document, yeah. and I went oh, off of the. Yeah. Uh, speak all right. All right. We'll, we'll just put a pin in this one. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll be that, that counts. Oh, it'll it'll be a pin, but it'll be a pin tweet. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, San Diego. <laughs> it's fucking great having you guys here because I don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. just funny. After three rounds, uh, let's take a look at the scores. Brett, what is our score? Well, Bryce, hmm. uh, Matt, buddy, yeah. uh, 
Well, you got three points. Andrew, you Take have it. two points. Mm -hmm. Brian has two points. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Justin's just hanging out. Justin's Wrote the just, fucking game. So yeah. that's pretty much what I do is just uh, needle yeah. these fuckers and try to look for jokes when Japanese people aren't involved. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And why not? Okay. Yeah, that would be a um, weird play like on ESPN. They're covering the Super Bowl. You're like, the Patriots have all the points. The Cowboys have all the points. And meanwhile, that coach is just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even playing. Yeah. Why is he You're actually kind up? of are describing baseball coaches. <laughs> And they have Japanese people running around. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. All right, let's go into uh, round four here. We're going to start with Andrew on this one. Andrew, here are the names. We've got Zero Cool and Glacier. Glacier. Zero Cool and Glacier. 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 All right. Glacier. Glacier. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go Zero Cool is the hacker. Okay. And Glacier or Glacier, depending on the nationality <laughs> they're of, on the is the wrestler. And the, my, my rationale for this is hackers, back me up on this, know lots about ones and zeros. Mm. And, and wrestlers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wrestlers love slow moving ice. <laughs> all right, thank you for your answer, Andrew. Matt Donnelly, all right, all right. which is the wrestler, which is the hacker? Zero Cool or Glacier? I got to go for uh, Okay. And there's a suplex by Glacier. <laughs> oh, and there's a suplex by Zero Cool. No, Zero Cool's the hacker. Yeah, I, I'm feeling like Zero Cool's got to be. I, I, I think he's a fairly famous hacker. Uh, uh, he doubled down uh, saying. And, yeah. uh, whereas Glacier uh, was originally... Uh, uh, a rejected Mortal Kombat villain that <laughs> <laughs> that eventually became a wrestler. I was just say, <laughs> big Fred, move. <laughs> wait, 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 what? You're spot oh, on. Keep maybe, maybe he's going. Going. Maybe, maybe he's, he's a, like just an unmovable. Oh, wait, wait, is that, wait, wait, keep going. Uh, keep going. Uh, I mean, that's, going. That's, that's, you've already got. You've already gotten to heaven. There's nothing you can say to get you out. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I yeah. got. That's all I got. Uh, yeah. uh, no, a hundred percent. Zero cool is indeed the hacker, and Glacier was in late WCW. A total knockoff of, of Sub Zero. Zero? Yeah. Holy shit! Like, like wore the almost exact. There oh god is. damn it! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> uh, uh, a total Sub Zero knockoff and a title donator uh, to the James Randi Educational Foundation. That's amazing. I'm, Along I'm, with, by the way, to to the wrestling documentary that you were watching, Matt, uh, which I assume is Dark Side of the Ring. Their newest episode is about Canyon. He was also. They were like they were oh. road buddies. That is the one I'm watching. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got that right, but I was really hoping that Glacier would be just in, in an immobile, morbidly <laughs> obese man. <laughs> <laughs> I move like, like, so like, slow. We can't, can't, can't stop, stop me. me. <laughs> who, who just couldn't be budged, but he's slowly like, come over. Just like, I mean, look, uh, I, I, I don't shoot across the room. I, I, I don't know everything about hacking culture, but I do know enough to know that when you pick your handle, it's not to indicate what you're really like. <laughs> <laughs> It's a point. Yeah. No, like, I'm to really, point you I'm are. really a glacier. Yeah, yeah. It's not like. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, and and also zero cool, I believe, is the hacking name of the guy from. <laughs> we welcome Jade God Murphy again. Motherfuckers. So y'all need to rewatch Hackers, man. Yeah. Like, it's an important film. Ah, uh, gee, Jim. Right. Every. <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? How does he do it? GG. <laughs> <laughs> we got to put that on t shirt. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we're going to go into double points round. We only got a few more here. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's start with Matt. Uh, Matt, are you ready for this? I mean, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but we how, don't normally say how, it so loud. How long am I allowed to feel like I'm not ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can I run out the clock? Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm nursing a one-point lead, and I'm willing to just erase the clock. <laughs> You're like, Phoenix, Arizona, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the two names you've got are Heidi Lovelace and Heidi Potter. Heidi Lovelace and Heidi Potter. We're going to start okay. with Matt Donnelly. Okay. This is, uh, all right. So, uh, first weekend of November, I'm playing West Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Heidi Lovelace. So, right away, what's that to me is like Lovelace is a reference to like older porn. 
So that feels like <laughs> actually uh, I had the same uh, thought. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, so really? I feel like. <clears throat> but then again, we're, we're not, not not Ada Lovelace, the famous female engineer. Fuck no. I'm talking about <laughs> okay. Linda Lovelace or whatever uh, that old porn star. Is. <laughs> and uh, and Potter seems to be like it feels like young people are hackers, and then uh, <laughs> young people read Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Keep going. <laughs> and that is all the logic I could come up with. <laughs> <laughs> Lovelace, wrestler, Potter, hacker. Really Potter. Okay, there we go. Uh, Brian. I, I think uh, Justin gave the game away when he brought up the fa- a new fact I learned, which is Ada Lovelace was a famous engineer. So I'm <laughs> going to say that Heidi Lovelace is the hacker. Okay, there we go. And Andrew. I don't know a lot of things, but I know this. <laughs> Hackers love blonde girls in old uh, Swiss novels <laughs> and magicians. <laughs> and I've not seen a lot of wrestling, but I've watched a lot of wrestling porn. <laughs> I watched nine hours of wrestling porn today as I drove down here, and all of it That's was with Heidi late. Lovelace, for whom I, I can't have an orgasm without. So Heidi Lovelace <laughs> is the wrestler, and the other one's the hacker. All right, there we go. Uh, that makes, I believe, Brian the odd man out Uh-oh. here. Oh, yeah. Ryan, your answer that Heidi Lovelace is the hacker is... Sorry. Loser. Incorrect, Heidi yeah. Lovelace is a wrestler. <laughs> Heidi Potter. That one for, I actually dated both of them. Is so, <laughs> <laughs> knew that one. Shout out, Heidi. Killing me. One of them's in the, th- one of them's in the thingy toad here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's in his car. Parts. Uh... Uh, okay, uh, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more here. Uh, we're going to start with, let's start with Brian on this Deep one. Deep throat, Ready. slam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Paul. That's Paul. God damn it. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no one more pissed he's not playing this game. Oh, my God. Well, no, he could play. I, we could play the game if Paul was there. He no. knows everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Did you see what they said? Oh, man. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we're going to start with Brett here. All right, we go. we're going to start with uh, 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 Brian here. Excuse me. Already. Here are your names. Which is the wrestler? Which is the hacker? Scott Hall and Jason Scott. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Scott Hall and Jason Scott. <laughs> Doug Normal or <laughs> regular man. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Hall. <laughs> well, I'm Doug Normal, and I'm here to say that I pay my taxes. Oh, well, shut up and be regular man. I'll tell you who Moses Lawn the best. This guy. Hey, I love my wife. Oh, I'm monogamous. Right, <laughs> he, Me too. He, Heaton and I will do the other scenario. Yeah. Mm, Howdy, oh. neighbor. Hello, how are you? You can't get in your email right now. Oh, okay. Why is that? I locked it down. Oh, okay. All right. Return my fucking mower. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, uh, we were Scott Hall, Jason Scott. <laughs> Jesus. What a great battle cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right, well, let me see the names again. Scott Hall and Jason Scott, which is the wrestler, which uh, is the This one should be clear. J- Jason Scott has to be the wrestler, um, and uh, uh, Scott Hall has to be the hacker. I've never been more pumped that nobody gives a shit about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's been actively ignoring me whenever I talk about it. <laughs> Andrew, you're up next. <laughs> oh, it's right. Scott Hall and Jason Scott, which is the wrestler. This, which this is the one's hacker. a toughie because Jason Scott is in sliders. <laughs> but Scott Hall does a lot of good wrestling porn, in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Scott Hall's the wrestler and Jason Scott is the hacker. All right, there we go. And Matt Donnelly, Scott Hall, Jason Scott. All right, so Jason Scott just, it's, it's so ubiquitously normal and two first names and all that stuff i feel like that's more anonymous and a hall i could feel like any of the last name hall could be like of the four generation wrestling family halls and this happens to be son of doug hall who was the you know annihilator person or something so um scott hall wrestler 
Uh, the other one, the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddler. But, uh, Fiddler was the other category. The other the Violin other player. <laughs> it's an either-or game, Bryce. Just figure out whatever you need to write down. All right, there we go. That puts Brian as the odd man out here again in our double God point. Damn it. And that means, Brian, your answer is... Oh, oh, oh you bastard! Incorrect. <laughs> he said, he, he said, said it happy excited. so you could see on my face on the instant replay that for a second I was like, oh. Oh. and then I got body slammed. <laughs> there we go. All right, before we go to our final uh, point round, Brett, what is our standings? Sighting! We've got uh, Brian with five points. Mm. We have our buddy Andrew coming in late. <laughs> with five points. Spell it. And we've got Matt with six points. Yeah. So, so I think yeah. I think just for clarity here, Matt, yeah. you are official. You can guess if you want. Right. But you are you are out of, of, of my, the loser. Yeah. Yeah. Like a nun, my yeah. Twitter feed will be jizz free. <laughs> uh and I, I feel like Boy, that uh, went over uh, terrible. Right. <laughs> uh, 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 should we have uh, a secret ballot or we're, we're tied, Brett? Y- 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 y'all are tied. Okay. Uh, y- yeah. or, or, I thought we got one more round, right? We do have one more round. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. For, for, for the last round. For the last round. Should we have any? I mean, because we got to figure out a way to... Oh, no, 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 uh, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's just let's just, let's just go. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, I, I believe it would be Andrew's to start. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go good. Ahead. I, I got the advantage then. Yeah, go for it. This is the 10-point round, Andrew. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> which is the wrestler and which is the hacker? Moxie Marlin Spike or John Moxley? <laughs> what? Moxie Marlin Spike. Or John Moxley. I mean, I I feel like Moxie Marlin Spike. There's so much you could do with it in terms of wrestling terminology, like spiking the volleyball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of volleyball and wrestling. There, there's, you know, it, it, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Whereas John Moxley, <laughs> well, he sounds like a reputable computer programmer to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with John Moxley for the hacker and Moxie Marlin Spike for the wrestler. There you go, Matt Donnelly. Uh, on, <laughs> just for, <laughs> for funsies. Which is the wrestler, which is the hacker? Just for funsies, yeah. Just for funsies? Just for funsies. I think they're both wrestlers. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I won. The spirit of competition. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to be performing live. The last week in Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch me come free in <laughs> Erie, Pennsylvania, the last week <laughs> of January at Keller's Magic Club. Okay. Um, I think Moxley's the wrestler. And the other things, the uh, actor. They're both Moxie. Moxie, <laughs> oh, Marlon Moxley. Spike. Moxley. And John Moxley, John Moxley is the wrestler, wrestler, you say. Yeah. All and right. Moxie, hey. Marlon Spike is a packer. All right. And Brian, this is for you. Uh, John uh, Moxley. Moxley. Moxie, Marlon Spike. Um, Real jump. <clears throat> Joint, jump slam, jump for joint. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to jump for joint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess something, Andrew. My intent was to just say whatever you said, and then when we had a tie, propose the solution be that you do half the tweet, and I do half the tweet. <laughs> I have another idea. You're okay. going to chop. Um, go the other direction. Okay. We will combine our points. They will outdo <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, protest. This, I'm this, filing a protest. This is, this is why risk ends friendships. <laughs> Uh, There's nothing the rule book says they can't do that, but uh, uh, I'm gonna say Moxie Marlin Spike is a wrestler, and 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 in part the back of my brain wants to say it's actually even a reference. I, I'm afraid she's a hacker who loves wrestling. Uh, I, I'm gonna say she's a wrestler. All right. That person is a wrestler, and uh, and 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 the other the other one's a hacker. Are you gonna say Moxie Marlin Spike is a wrestler, and John Moxley is a hacker? Yes. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. All right, we've got it here. I don't know. Did we pick the same thing? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. fucking. But we can still combine oh, forces I, I, and make I, I him take the we we did. We're still combining yeah. points. We are. Okay, well, then you'd yeah. have to beat. Uh, okay, how about that? That's fine. This is a 10 point round, motherfucker. Let's see what you guys end up oh, doing. No. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. You both said the same thing. I'm going to have to drop your answer into the science hole. Uh, <laughs> your answer that John Moxley is the hacker is. Oh. Uh oh. 
Is it a good bomb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You dumb motherfuckers! No! Oh. no you, oh, one of you should have went the other way! Absolutely not! No, Moxie Marlin Spike is the famous actor. Uh, uh, John Moxley is a, a multiple-time world champion the world over. Oh. You both fucking lost. You both <laughs> post cum tweets, and you both <laughs> like it! So do, we, do you want to do the splatter what, or the primer? What, <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> we, we had one come tweet that we approved last week, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, did. So, so no. either you guys can both tweet the same come tweet, or mm. you can ask Bryce for another can, 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 one can, from the Hall of Fame. Can, can, can we uh, listen? Um, uh, 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 hey, Matt. Uh, yeah. If you'd like to make twenty dollars, we're gonna have a real quick writers' room. We're gonna start pitching. <laughs> Acceptable come tweets. Oh, you know, I'll do anything for twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew I was going to get canceled, I would have done really great jokes during the Japanese part. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I missed that whole opportunity. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, well, here, uh, 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 Brett, what was our approved cum tweet? Again, uh, th th this was, you have to tweet one of Bryce's cum tweets. Mm, it's one of mine. So th th that is like one of his favorite things to do is tweet cum puns. Uh, and so which was the one I that left we it up to Bryce. Sorry. Oh, oh. I did not know that this was happening until the show began today. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll have to go you, back here, to that. I got one. That, no, I, uh, I thought we had one picked out last week. Oh, last week we did the, the come with me if you want to live. There we go. We'll do that. C-U-M yeah. with me if you want to live. I'm yes. not going to tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, actually, no, to, I've, I've got to work around for this. 1.6 million Twitter followers, I've, I've, much less keep it up for 24 hours. I've got a great workaround for this. I think I think I can take one for the team. I really do. So, so you, you know I you know I used to be a television writer, right? Yes. When I was there, I had the the Mighty Heaton account, you know. Yes. And I had like Andrew Heaton dash one or something, which is the one I told my company about, and that guy only followed productivity Twitter accounts okay. and how to be a better employee. If I still have that, I can tweet it on that. Who gives a shit? Uh, 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 well, I do. What are yeah. you doing? <laughs> yeah. well, that's the consequence. The consequence is nobody does the consequence. No, no, no. We, we, we look. We can make this. We, we you can all work it out. <laughs> the way to, okay. it, you you came up with an alternative to try to beat it and then lost and still don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, there we go. We'll see you next time. No, 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 no. Uh, I, 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 I gotta go. Fuck you. Uh, uh, we, go. we can do. We can no, do no, this no, one. No, no, no. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, um. You sure you don't want to do this, James? No, nope. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. We're gonna wait till tomorrow morning. No, no. Thanks. At Justin. Oh, you fucking. Our young. Told me. Oh, he's not even gonna that's do it. We're, we're gonna no, 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 fucking frame it. Yo, no, fuck you. If, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're at replying me, just at reply me and write the fucking tweet. Okay. Congratulations. All right. you, you, you got the, the hole in the sheet. Uh, good for you. Just write you come with me if you want to live and then delete it in 24 hours, you fucking shirking ass motherfucker. <laughs> Could have had pawn. He could have had pawns come. The iron shirk over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, the, 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 la the last time they were me. trying to peer pressure me, it was for ketamine. So this is actually a really oh, nice. better <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. Could have had twenty-one come salute. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> December fifteenth, I'm at the J and B Magic Shop. There we go. Moment. There we go. The J and B yeah. Magic Shop. Huh? J and B. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, uh, all right, uh, Matt, you won so much that you're banished from the fucking set. Get yeah, out get out of here. Bye. 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 All right. Yay. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, uh, Heaton, if you can slide that down just for. I mean, uh, is there is there? I mean, I, 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 I mean uh, there, there's no way, there's no other interpretations of the letter C U M besides a uh, uh, fucking jizz. No, that's like the, that's why it's funny. You know, there's one. Well, cum laude, cum magna. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You just claim you were yeah. saying Latin. I'd also like to come loud in the '69. Right? Remember that joke from Mallrats? <laughs> nice. No. <laughs> uh, uh, man, I, I I think I only watched Mallrats once. What? Did yeah, you? and it was and it was like a decade plus ago. And I think it was on your recommendation because we were both in a uh, Smodcast hardcore at the time, mm. and you were like, you have to watch it, and then I did. 
But you don't remember every joke from there. No. God damn it. All right, fuck you. <laughs> but, by the way, uh, greatnightpod at gmail.com is the email address. If you have an idea for a game, please send it there. That's an email address, and you can send it there. And we want to play it in the game, which is what we did. Uh, and, and, also, consequences. Yeah, and, also and consequences. And consequences. If yes. you have ideas for consequences, then please go ahead and do please it. Please don't make me work so hard. Uh, Heaton, <laughs> you uh, just got back from fucking Scotland. Yeah, How long I was ago? in Scotland for three weeks. It was wonderful. Oh, it was Wonderful. It was between 55 and 75 degrees the entire time I was there. Wow. I, I have an idea, Brian. I want to pitch you for funding because uh, I want to direct it and uh, Heaton's going to be the star. You ever uh, seen the or uh, heard of the documentary The Endless Summer? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I believe there's a lot of Beach Boys music in there, but uh, it's, 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 it's a but it's delight. A yeah, yeah. bunch of <clears throat> surfers who fly around the world. No, it's only two surfers. Two surfers yeah. who fly around... Jesus, fuck. I didn't know I was talking <laughs> to the goddamn fucking producer. No, yeah, uh, but, what but, but what do they do? Uh, they, 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 they go chasing all the different waves. It, uh, I, I want to say it's early 60s, maybe late 50s, but uh, one of the things they find is they find this weird perfect wave, and they talk about the experience of being in the perfect wave and how after like three minutes uh, you start to like not know what to do, so you start reciting poetry and shit to yourself. But but yeah, it's a delightful documentary. But they go to different times, so whenever summer is ending, they can right. fly somewhere else right. where summer is beginning, and correct, that's the correct. idea of the endless summer, yeah. right? So I have a, a, an idea. Yeah. It's called the Endless Autumn. Okay, and it's literally just it's just eating, eating in a zeppelin, eating in fucking a, flying yeah. from cold zone <laughs> to cold in, zone in a sweater vest, saying like. Well, hello! In different <laughs> bars where it's just starting to get cold. Now, uh, I like he, it. here's the thing about this idea, which I love, uh, is that you could do it entirely on Interstate 35, <laughs> like all the way up and down. <laughs> oh, Chicago, you don't all the way even down. have to go anywhere. Uh, I, 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 it's going to be a cheap movie. Cool. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. I got the scamp in your backyard. We can do this. Yeah. He flies 20 minute Southwest Airlines flights each time. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Increasingly farther north. It's uh, exactly five uh, cities long. You hate uh, heat and sweating. Which I, is I, weird because it's I, in your name. It's in my name. I hate, and I also, for some, I like sweat rooms, which I don't understand. But, but I, think, I think I hate the feeling of sweat in clothing. And, Probably because uh, you wear so fucking much of it. No, but okay, no, hold on. During the summer, though, I bought shorts. I bought a, a shirt that d doesn't even have sleeves or anything, like a like a peasant. Did you yeah. wear it? Still fucking hot. Wow. <laughs> Did you wear it? It's still hot at ninety seven <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Uh, 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 but what, what, anything new in Scotland post COVID? I, Scotland, you know what, first I, time you've been there since all that shit happened. Uh, it was no, it was a really good time. Um, I, uh, it, a couple of my friends got COVID, but one of them did it. Can I share this with you? He's afraid that uh, it's the, the vaccine's a big conspiracy to make people sterile, and as a result, his sperm will increase in value. <laughs> Uh, and he got COVID, but he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 I feel like we jumped right over the buried treasure. His sperm will increase in value, like in, in right. social it, it, value so or in monetary value? Both. He, he <laughs> thinks that when he's the lone Scotsman that can, can theoretically impregnate a woman, uh, that, that at that point, uh, his, his name is, is Stone. So like a bucket of stone <laughs> would be worth an exorbitant amount of money. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 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 so, so, and I made friends with a lord. That was cool. And, the and I went on a date. Lord, uh, Matt Ridley, the, the author. Oh of, uh, no, fucking way! I, I, so he, okay, he's a. Wait, all right, what, what? How many, how many <laughs> come tweet comedy podcasts will dropping Matt Ridley's name get that response <laughs> on stage? I mean, I think we're a one of one. Yeah. <laughs> No, he was great. I, he's, see, anybody unfamiliar is a science writer, and I'd interviewed him a couple times, and he, he'd said, you know, next time you're in Edinburgh, let me know, and I went, okay. And I told him, and he went, well, I'm not going to be in Edinburgh, but I'm, I'm about an hour and a half south if you want to come down for lunch. To his manor, to his manor estate. So we got to walk around and talk about Margaret Thatcher and environmentalism. It was great. Uh, uh, people, most, most of the fans have heard me sing the praises of The Rational Optimist, a, yeah, a, a, a life-changing book for me. Yeah. Uh, listen, we're so excited that you made the trip all the way down. Um, I don't know if I'm jumping the gun here or not, but I thought it might, might be fun if, uh, if, if Andrew were to uh, be amazed uh, by a very special guest entertainer. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the, is, he, is, he is he here. Let me go get him. I, no, I don't I think he's, he's here okay. yet. Yeah, oh, I, was, I, was wait, I was waiting until he was we ready to him. He's not the here. Intro. Okay. Not if right. you want to do the bold stance of introing him without him being here, we well, can do that. I, too. I, I had the. Uh, I, I mean, how long does it take to. <laughs> 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 I have like, a guess as to what I'm going to see. <laughs> what? So, my. This is my guess. Yes. 
I think that <laughs> we could do beautiful boys again. I think Matt. <laughs> beautiful boys! Beautiful boys! <laughs> oh, wait. He, he, do you know, not know the beautiful boys dance? No. Okay, here's how it goes. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, the lyrics. <laughs> you go, uh, beautiful, beautiful boys, boys yeah, beautiful, beautiful boys, boys, beautiful boys, beautiful boys. <laughs> right. Dude, what was the, wait, right. what was the third stanza? Uh, beautiful, beautiful boys. Beautiful boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then it's mostly just jumping up and down <laughs> and then alternating your left and your Fist right pumping. hand up okay, in the right. air. Got it. So you yeah. want to try it real Got quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. Beautiful boys. Beautiful boys. That's a great audience. Beautiful. <laughs> We're ready to take on the Latin Kings. I feel like as a gang, <laughs> as a gang, we're we're rounding into shape. Like no one's gonna see us coming. The beautiful boys. Oh. Um, so I've got. Oh a wait, theory. Brett has returned. He, he was busy telling this joke about a cucumber. So he was, <laughs> God damn that. Uh, is, 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 is he ready? He was explaining it to me. So he's uh, on his way. <laughs> it, was, it was on his uh, way. Yeah. yeah <laughs> You went uh, on a date. Uh, How was the date? <laughs> really good. It was really good. I, uh, we you want to say your full name? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think I should. I don't think that's a great idea. We went so, so we can guess whether she's a wrestler. There, or there's, 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 there's a town that uh, we, we went to that I think is very romantic now. But the only other cool thing in the town is they have a paperweight museum. So we went there. Uh, oh. well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, paperweight. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so, like, if you're in Scotland, ask people about this place called Perth, because they'll just immediately age three years. They'll go, you went to Perth? You probably went for the paperweight museum, I. <laughs> and you're like, is what? It, is it Perth in Australia? Well, it's named after the Perth in Scotland. Yeah. Wait, I don't wait. know if they have a, a paperweight museum or not. <laughs> Perth in Australia is great. I've been there, and it's basically like, it's like Waco with kangaroos. It's like, you would, you would feel very at home. You know, they it's got a Paris in France. France. You, you realize that somebody is listening to this show for the first time and is convinced they're having a stroke right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, everything made sense. It sounded like they were having a good time. And then, and then uh, uh, it's, like a, it's like a what if episode, like in that moment when Brian at replied, Justin Robert Young, a splinter reality happened. And nonsense words about paperweights, Perth, and uh, no, we're talking about his trip to Scotland. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a, a guy telling us about his about his fun, his was fun good. trips. It was good. Uh, Although I, I will say this, uh, uh, you texted Brian and I, and you were like, uh, uh, I'm, "I'm going on a date with a lovely woman from Perth," and I was like, "Look, it's not out of the realm of possibility that the Heaton I knew that was in Scotland 24 hours ago." has now found himself <laughs> in Australia, and this is the way that he wants to tell us. Uh, and then I had to ask the indelicate question, Australia? <laughs> and would you inform me that indeed there was one in Scotland? Okay, all right, I'm starting to feel And like, I've like had sex in Perth, Australia, to too. Ah. <laughs> uh, that, that was the line? <laughs> no. Uh, You're just really looking to get to this throw. Uh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I mainly uh, worried about how far we've deviated from the stated plan of. of, of no, the show. we're waiting for him to get ready. He came back in full of sweat without his costume, and I was like, no. And he was like, do you have, do I have five minutes to go get can, my costume? And I said, sure. Yes. Can, can I can I tell you guys a moment I had last week? So I've I've been back about three weeks, and I've, I was doing uh, comedy in Dallas last week. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what part of Scotland's that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very far west. Uh, but but I was I was doing stand up and um, college students came to see me, which I was I should say one of them was a college student. Most of them were in their early twenties. They clar clar clarified this, uh, and uh, um, one of them came up, um, cute younger girl, like probably 21, 22, something like that, and and she's kind of awkward. And somebody went, she wants to ask you a question, and I went, what can I do for you? Mm -hmm. And she said, my aunt would love you. How do I get her in contact with me? So anyway, now, I felt wait, very wait, wait, When she said that, was that she, was she trying to hook you up, or was she yeah. just like 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 she would be a fan of your work? Uh, she said I would make a great step uncle. That's oh, where I'm Jesus at in my life. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. I, good, I'm shooting for step uncle. Uh, uh, I mean, right wait, on wait, this continent. Did, 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 did you get picks though? <laughs> I told her she'd come to the La Quinta Inn, bring a bottle. We're going to watch Star Trek. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is the great pleasure of the Night Attack program to welcome on one of the most premier magicians in America. You know him from Penn and Teller's Fool Us. It is the Mind Noodler. Woo! Matt Lottery! Yeah! I feel like I should vacate the stage. Uh, is it okay if we, if, if we leave you with Heaton or... or... Okay. Right. Am I your assistant now? All right, you come over here. You come I'm, over I'm here. leggy. I'll come over Matt, here. come over here. 
You take that. All right. I'm on the sunny side here. Hey, everybody. Hey. Thanks so much for coming out to see me. I don't know. Thanks so much for sticking around and tolerating me, I guess, is really <laughs> where we're at. Um, Andrew, you're familiar with a lot of magic? Yeah. So I don't want to use you then. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, hold, oh, wait, can I, so I used to be a member of the Oklahoma City Magicians Club, but I couldn't do anything, so I was the designated volunteer. So I have volunteered for many magicians. Got you. All right. I'm gonna, I have two bits I want to do. Okay. I definitely want to use you for the second bit. Okay. But uh, I want to use a, yeah, let's do a, uh, the you and uh, who, who are you? You don't want to come up on here? No. Okay. You can win money if you do. Uh, it's all the money that's in my wallet. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Approx. 16? Yeah, American. No, okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Those are $2,005. Oh. <laughs> so. Right. All right, we'll just do you then. Sure. All right. Uh, I need, I could use one or four is usually the way it works. <laughs> but you, it's still a hard no anyway. <laughs> Your friend here, who are you? I should be, I should be enough. Let's do, no. let's do, what about you? This is great for the people watching. Darren! <laughs> Pointing into the darkness. Come on up here. There we go. There we go. Is he going to be on the other You're side, or side. you yeah, want to call? No, you me right there. All right. All right. What is your name? Darren. Darren. Nice to meet you, Darren. Let's shake left-handed. Yes. And, you're, and say I'm your name Brett. again, and Brett. We're, we're gonna we'll do right-handed. Okay. Okay, great. Darren and Brett, everybody. Are you guys going to do a psychological experiment? It's first conducted by Dr. John Archer in England. Uh, it's a pretty cool psychological thing. Let's do it. I have five envelopes, one of which has money in it, okay? Uh, $16. Now, now, normally that'd just be like a one in five chance, but for you guys, uh, it's, it's, it, I'm actually going to psychologically mess with you to make it basically impossible for you to choose the correct envelope. Are you okay with that? Sure. Okay, these are words that are meant to kind of evoke different meanings to different people, okay? So you can choose the envelope that says something on it. Mm -hmm. This is for a camera. Who, 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 who am I, who's, my, who's my win? Uh, this one that you're on here. This one here? Yep. Okay, it could be something. Sure. You choose the envelope that says uh, it has nothing on, right? Okay. It could be something in the envelope. It could be nothing in the envelope. You could have what's uh, mine. You can take what's mine. Mm -hmm. Or you could have what's yours. Or you can have an STD, which <laughs> is a save the date from my cousin, <laughs> right? And he thought it'd be really funny to throw that in here. So you could get an STD from my cousin. It's really me giving it to you. <laughs> Okay. All right. You go with that? Sure. All right. So you want to choose given. first? Yes. You want, you want STD? You want something? Nothing? Mine? Yours? What do you got? I, I, I really want an STD. You really want an STD? Yeah. You want to say, I came out, saw the mind noodler. I'm going home with an STD. From his cousin. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Baby jam. All right. Um, go ahead. Open that envelope. Okay. Uh, just, yep. Just do that right there. There you go. Reach inside there. Do you see any money in there? There's not money. In oh, there. what is there though? Uh, probably something. A high five from Brian Brushwood. Oh, hey! hey. That good. is definitely one way to yeah. get an STD right there. That's so right. there you go. Do we have go. any Clorox wipes? All right. <laughs> so all right. So that leaves you with one of the four envelopes here. You got nothing, something. Absolutely little, there nothing. There might be something and nothing. Absolutely nothing. So you think there's nothing and something and something and nothing? I think there's there might be something and something, but the something something I'm looking for is a nothing. All right. Yes. Open it up. This, oh. is, this is not money. What is that? It's a foot massage, though, from Bryce. There we go. Yay! Foot massage from Bryce. Yay! Yay! Might be worth more than the money in my wallet. Might that can be, be collected after the show. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's what I was. I'll just come over there right. right now and get it. So now we're down hey, to three albums. After so you the want show. Something, no. It could be nothing and something. You want sure. what's mine? It's rightfully mine, but you can take it. It's yours. It's capitalism. Sure. You can have what's already yours to begin with. That's communism. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go with mine. You're going to take what's you're going to take what's yours? No, I'm going to take mine? what's mine. You're going to take what's mine. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I, 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 uh, I'm excited that I'm not going to win any money. Look, there's nothing in there except this. What is that? It's, uh, I hope it's nothing really weird. <laughs> oh, oh. See, now this is worth way more than $16. Go ahead. It's any piece of art from Bonnie Brush. That's right. Choose one. Hey, Just go wow. ahead. Choose one. No That's problem. Huge. What a generous gift from the Brushwood That's, Estate. Thank to me. you, what Brian. I'm sure. Song. And yeah. Bonnie. Where, where, where is this? Yeah. Bonnie, 
Bonnie, who loves me and thinks I'm in shape, I... would have no problem giving away any artwork. Bonnie, I am so excited to get yeah. whatever art you're going to yeah, exactly, give me. Thank exactly. You. So here we are, Darren. Just two things. You can have what's yours, rightfully yours. You can take a little something. No, no. We've already established we don't want something. We'll All want, right. I want what's yours. Okay. But now it's mine. Psychological experiment. Is the money in the envelope right there? No. But consolation prize, I'm getting an extra smile from the mind noodler. Hey! Oh, right Who's here, that? Buddy. Oh, oh that's, that's worth more right. than $100. Wow. Fantastic. It's always nice when your guest asks, who is you? <laughs> 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 all right. So here we are, the final envelope here, right here, with something all along, 100 bucks. So sorry, oh. guys. So sorry. So sorry. And it but was something. It was always something. It was always something. Something was always something. It was, it was not. And now nothing. we have something between us. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Good job. Shake, 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 uh, well, so do you need somebody else? Well, we uh, don't want to do Heaton, right? We want to answer Yeah, yeah. yeah. ladies yeah. and gentlemen, yeah. Andrew Heaton. You guys actually, you guys can step here and you can play this game too, okay? Okay. All right. I need an Apple box to stand up. <laughs> oh, switch mics. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. So, uh, Heaton, this here's a look. This is a little. Here, little... Uh, it's Gooch, Gooch, Gooch. Yeah. Gooch, 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 Gooch. Scoochie, 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 scoochie. It's a little children's book right here, okay? Yeah. It's literally for, for ages nine months and under. Okay. So it's a very basic book. So if you look through this book wow. here, you see. That's where Callie learned that cucumber. Yeah, like it's, it's, literally, it's literally like to find, to find the object below here. Yeah, there's a cucumber page, and the cats fucking hate it. So, um, so, there's, a, so there's a ball, then you have to find the ball below, all right? Now, um, uh, it's a cat, and you got to find the cat below. Here's another yeah. example of that. Okay, so there's a bunch of different images on different pages right there. And what you want to do is I want you to select a random page from the book and don't show us, okay? And um, Heaton's going to name the objects. Just name the objects. Out loud? Out loud. Okay. And we have to figure out whether we can detect what object it is. Wait, he's going to say what the object is? We have to detect? You're going to name all the objects that you see on that oh, page. Oh, got it, got we'll it. Figure okay. out which, which object's on the top of the page. Oh, got it. Right, so I'm right? Name, there's, there's nine objects mm -hmm. under, under page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got I'm, it, got I'm it. telling you what those are. Yeah. yeah. And you're, and you're guessing, or you're saying which one of them? Got it, okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 so which one's on the top? Yes. But I'm not telling you got that. You. You're right. The you're you're making making I, I'm gonna, I'm a, we're going to psychically figure it out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. With our psychic right. brains. Exactly. Got you. There's a very happy sun. Okay. Can there's somebody a, hang up on him? There's a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's a rainbow. Uh huh. There's a deliriously happy moon. Okay. There's a standard teddy bear. Mm hmm. Standard kite. Mm hmm. A leafy tree. Seems like it's kind of early spring. Yeah. A soccer ball. Mm hmm. And a multicolored butterfly. All right, guys. Any guesses? Uh, we're going entirely just on psychic vibes, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, 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 really, really, really fast. Uh, uh, Andrew, one more time. Sun, pencil, rainbow, moon, teddy bear, kite, tree, soccer ball, butterfly. I don't know why, but moon jumped out at me. Okay, Justin. I'm going to say balls on top because they're in zero gravity. <laughs> All right. Uh, Andrew, my guess is pencil. Pencil is the image that's on the top of your page. Can you show it to the, to the camera, please? I guess that was correct. Pencil. Whoa! Oh. Pencil is it? Pencil is what correct. What the okay, great. fuck is go going ahead. on we'll, here? We'll, get you, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out together, okay? So, okay, Andrew, okay. flip to another page there. Andrew, flip to another page. Right. I don't like the... All right. Close okay. Yeah. That one? <laughs> All right. Thought we were all go. trying to guess So, uh, this time, Andrew, thing, you know, just to, just to right. make it more about the psychic vibes to help these guys out, don't read them in order, okay? Just kind of go okay. in whatever order you want as you say the nine images on the page, okay? All right. There's a rainbow, a teddy bear... A soccer ball, a flower, a cat, a chair, a tree, the sun, and a kite. Uh, can I go first? Yeah. Dude, that cat, and it's afraid of snakes. <laughs> uh, sorry, say him again. Uh, I don't remember the order I did it in, but there's a cat, a flower, a chair, a tree, the sun, a kite, a teddy bear, a rainbow, and a soccer ball, and a flower. Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, uh, the kite. Ben Franklin, what's up? Salute. <laughs> I, I think Justin's dialed in. I'm going to go with Kite also. I like Justin's answer. Show the image to the camera, please. 
It is a, it is a chair. It's a chair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> One more page. Okay. I don't like how you piled on my bad answer. What? <laughs> All right, so Andrew, then let's, we'll make this a lightning round, all right? Trying to humiliate me. All right, three, or four, do you, three or four objects. Random pays three or four objects. Just go ahead. All right, ready. Th three or four objects? Yeah. So don't list all of them? Don't list all of them. Just make sure that the one that's on the top of the page is amongst the three or four. Gotcha. Okay. Ooh. There is a sun, mm -hmm. car keys, a car, and a phone. Okay. Uh, a, 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 a phone. Uh, car keys. All right. Uh, Andrew, just show the picture of the sun to the camera, please. It's the sun! It is the yeah. sun! Oh, okay, motherfucker! Okay, okay, okay. He did it! <laughs> All right. Are you happy with our psychic test so far? <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, no. I, I'm, <laughs> One more I'm round? Another lightning round. Another lightning round. All right. Go, go, Random go, 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 go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I swear to God. You've got most of them right. You get this next one right, I'll be fucking impressed. Okay. Am I, am I listing all of them? Just do three. Three of them. Ooh. But include the top one. Of course. Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is a dog... A xylophone and a birthday cake. A uh, birthday cake. Dog. You're both wrong. It's a xylophone. Andrew, show him the picture. It's a xylophone. Ah! Ah! He knew our minds. That's oh, it. Thank you so much ginger. for playing, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, actually, stick on up here. Uh, man, I think it's about time to wrap up. What a journey <laughs> this has been. Yeah. Uh, and, and not as long as the journey that uh, Andrew Heaton took to get down It was down worth it. I got to drive back tonight, too, but it was good to <laughs> see you all. Thanks for letting me come here. <laughs> hey, Brett, what did we learn tonight? Well, we've learned that it takes a long time to go from Tulsa to Austin, Texas. Oh, uh, we've learned night. that... My noodler he just screws with my head. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to know that Bonnie is going to give me some beautiful art. Oh, that's going to be a conversation. Yes. <laughs> and I thought I thought tweeting the word come was going to be difficult. Yes. <laughs> and, and that Brian gives the highest of fives. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, come on. Justin? Yeah. Uh, feel, uh, 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 what do we normally say right now? Uh, uh, we normally say that it's been a great night. It's still a great night. Yeah. Uh, uh, shine on, you crazy diamonds. We love you guys. Wait, were you testing me? What? What's that? Were you testing me? No, I legitimately didn't remember. <laughs> Sliders, uh, cucumbers. Sliders. Cucumbers. Yeah. <laughs> Hell of a night. <laughs> I'm glad we reunited the original group. <laughs> a beautiful boy. <laughs> beautiful boy. I kept saying beautiful, beautiful boy. Boy. Beautiful boy. I got the bit wrong the whole time. Let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater. Great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>